I knew I wanted to be in the business of making people laugh. I started stand-up in high school. I wanted to continue that. When I came to Quinnipiac, I wanted to study advertising because I wanted to make funny commercials. When I found film, it gave me a more direct path to what I wanted to do. Pete Sumby's multicam class was memorable because it was my first exposure to a TV set. And I was like, this is what I need to do. At the beginning of the class, the students pitch ideas for a show and they select one and they run with that. They picked my idea, which was a gas station sitcom called Top It Off. We made about five episodes and I was hooked. Sal's selling the gas station! I met with the student programming board and asked them if they needed a student opener for all the acts that came to Quinnipiac and I got the job. It was really my first professional job as a comedian. <laughs> the biggest thing Quinnipiac helped me do is narrow the scope of what I wanted to do, narrow my focus, and give me the tools on set to help me figure that out. I graduated in May of 2012, and I knew right away I wanted to move out to LA. Bradley Robert DePrima. I started as a production assistant, and I worked my way up to the first assistant to Seth MacFarlane. I currently work on Family Guy and American Dad. Brad is very active with his persistency, and Seth has definitely acknowledged how amazing Brad is. So he's dealing with American Dad, Family Guy, Cosmos, so it's a lot of different pieces that he has to keep organized. In my free time, I'm always writing to stay sharp, and that's how you get good. He's a go-getter, and he is trying hard to get to where he ultimately wants to be. I'm trying to be a staff writer on a TV show, and you know, work my way up to a showrunner and have my own show. I wrote my first scripts at Quinnipiac, and that was a great learning experience. The great thing about Quinnipiac is the community is, is so tight-knit and very supportive, and I have been to thank for that. <laughs>